Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoyme, aka Massage Nerd. And what I'm going to talk today about is hairy backs. So if a, a male has a hairy back, uh, what do you do? Um, is it, it's going to be a little bit different texture, so it's like going to be massaging a male's leg sometimes. Uh, that's going to texture. But, could, but sometimes um, it could be a little bit long and are you going to be able to glide or not? So I myself, I've had problems with a lotion in the past, though sometimes when it dry, it absorbs so much quicker and then it says it starts to entwine, it might even feel like the client that you're like you're pulling their hairs a little bit. And what you can do with that is I, I just use a lot of oil. So I just use a lot of oil uh, to help out with that so they're going to still want that more gliding kind of feeling with that. But what you're going to notice too is after you're done with the massage and if you're using all white sheets, more likely you're going to see a lot of hair on there. So again, what you're going to do is just corner, 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 um, wrap it up and uh, put it in the lawn, laundry right away then. So, uh, that's my recommendation. So if somebody has really hairy legs or even a hairy chest. So um, with a hairy chest, you just got to be aware of that because again, when somebody has longer hair, um, make sure you have enough oil on there because with gliding, you don't want to pull their hair. So watch your reactions with their face then. So, and also with the legs too. So that's my recommendation. And, um, and what do you got to, what kind of things do you guys do with longer hair on a male's back or on, on their chest and stuff? So what things work for you, what kind of products work for you, it would be awesome too. So people could um, help out with that. So leave it in the comments section below. Thanks.